While gerbils and mice are two of the most popular pet rodents, they can also be quite difficult to distinguish. This is especially true to the novice eye. Learning the obvious physical differences is the key. The more you know, the more you'll be able to care for both pets, not only in respect to their food and shelter needs, but also to their overall health. If you're seeking a crash course, you're in luck. Buckle up and let's go. Number one, gerbils and mice are in the same family, but not the same species. Number two, the ears of a mouse are larger and rounder than that of a gerbil. A gerbil's ears are only a touch bigger than their eyes. Number three, most gerbils are sandy gold in color. While this is not always the case, it is the majority. Mice, on the other hand, are a darker brown. Number four, gerbils and mice have the same tail length, but a gerbil's tail is a bit furrier and is the same color as the rest of the body. The fur on a mouse's tail is less noticeable. The tail all but takes on the appearance of pink skin. Number five, gerbils have long hind legs. This allows them to stand with ease. Mice, on the other hand, not so much. Mice will naturally stand less frequently due to this difference. Number six, gerbils dig burrows. While mice can burrow, their hideaways aren't as deep and certainly not as complex as that of a gerbil. And number seven, the nose of a gerbil is wider than that of a mouse, although both are pink and contain no hair. This is why size recognition is the key difference. This action is not advised due to two core reasons. Gerbils and mice carry different types of diseases that can be passed on to each other. The second reason, any arrangement would always be rejected. Mice and gerbils are like oil and water when it comes to relationships. Gerbils are very social. They enjoy living with other gerbils. However, this does not extend to other species. Gerbils would view mice as an intruder. The outcome of an attempted housing could prove dire, to say the very least. While mice are also social, they follow a different element of structure. Think of it as a chain of mice command. The introduction of a gerbil or gerbils would disrupt the structure. This would result in constant fighting. Now that we've covered the basics when it comes to distinguishing a gerbil from a mouse, that'll conclude things for the video portion of this material. If you would like to know more on this topic, please read our detailed article on the subject at gerbilwelfare.com. If you're currently viewing this content off-site, please click the initial link in the description box that is available to you. As always, we thank you so much for watching. We wish you a wonderful day, and we'll talk to you later.